I am Sean Kent Hayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzer. This is Walter, and Walter is so super cuddly and lovey. He's been sitting in my lap here for a little bit, and he's just huggy and kissy and lovey, and you can see that um, he just has such a fabulous personality. So we're going to show you Walter's routine and where he is at this point in his development. I'm doing this for multiple reasons. One is I like you to see the various stages of what's appropriate and learning. And you've heard me say repeatedly, if you've been watching for a while, that lure training is the beginning, it's the basis. And so it's so important to me to make sure that all of my dogs know how to follow a lure before they leave here. And so you can see Walter definitely understands lure training because once he understands lure training you can teach him anything you as the person who's uh, doing the training though have to understand the language the hand signals the process the pace and so part of what's so fun for me is teaching those of you who get my puppies how to do this too so you can see Walter has gotten the lure process. And today what we'll do is I'll, I'll push just a little bit to see how far we can go with him. So he's clearly gotten sit. He's clearly gotten, you wanna do down next, Devin? So we start off with the sit up above and then we lure into a down and yes down. And then next often what we'll do is a spin so from a down, a spin is a really good thing to do because it gets them moving. There you go. There's a spin, yep. All right, so the next thing we would probably focus on with Walter is watch me and getting him to have eye contact. Watch me is a fantastic command to have your dog understand because when you are out in public or in places where you need to uh, divert yes, his attention quickly, Walter. the command watch me works great. Me. It's one of those commands like all of the others yes. that you've got to do a hundred times plus before you start doing it out in a public environment expecting him to be able to get it. In part that's because uh, the puppy impulse control, we're teaching that here, we're teaching confidence, we're teaching him to um, feel really good about himself. Let's see what happens, Devin, if you start to lure him off of the place's bed in a, a cum. So this would be the first time we've done this with him. And this is where a puppy starts to think, wait a minute, you, you've been teaching me to do everything up on the bed and now it looks like you're trying to get me to do something different. What, what's going on? So it, it takes a little bit of time to teach the puppy. Now we're ready to start working off of the yes. places bed. Yes, Walter, yes, sit. Great yes. job, Walter. So now she'll go back up on the places bed and now she'll lure him off of the places bed again and she'll have him come sit right in front of her. And eventually we're gonna attach the word come to this. There we go. Yes, yes come, yes, sit. Yes, yes Walter. This is Thank great. You. So this is so developmentally on target for him and he's having fun. I don't know if you can see that his tail is wagging regularly. Walter. Yes, yes come. come, yes, yes sit. come, Walter, yes. Laces, yes, sit. Yes. yes, come, Walter, yes, come. Yes, Walter, places, yes, places. So the treat of choice today is yes. a pretty high value yes. brie cheese. Again, we do yes. not use brie cheese with our older dogs. We use this when we are just first teaching yes. some new things and we need to keep their attention. He will not need brie cheese um, very much longer. He will have all the basics down pat. I needed to add that leverage because he will be going to his new home this weekend and I want to make sure that all the basics are in place for his new family to then be building yes, on. Yes, come Walter. Yes. Places. Yes, sit. Yes, Walter. Yes, sit. Walter. Yes, come. Yes, come. 
Come, Walter. Yes. At Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers, we love training puppies. When we train puppies, they learn all the basic obedience, plus they learn socialization, impulse control, potty pad training, all the basics for creating a really great puppy. Now, I'm going to have Devin um, reach for his collar and say his name at the same time. He already knows his name. He likes his name. But we do this over and yes. over, this conditioning of reaching for his collar, having him think that yes. when, he, when the collar is touched, good things are going to happen. Yes. When he hears his name, yes. good things are going to happen. Faces. Yes, faces, Walter. Yes. Great job, Walter. Yes. Um, so we can probably do a... Yay, good boy. And Yay. our finish looks like this. So she's going to, Devin's going to show you what our finish with okay. all of our puppies looks like. So when we okay. finish a routine, it's okay. And then we do fun yes. belly rubs and they love these belly rubs. Yes, belly rubs, Walter. Yes, belly rubs. And then he gets the jackpot, yes, the rest of the treat. Rubs. So well Walter. done, Walter. So well done, Devin. Good job. He is going to be such a wonderful little boy. Cuddly, snuggly, lovey. And uh, he has a temperament that would be really just phenomenal um, pet. But um, he has, he's going to a home where there are two college-age students. And so if they wanted to do something with him like rally or agility or even therapy dog work, he would be fantastic at all of that. Let me have Devin show you now again, just sort of picking him up and he, he can be extremely cuddly and yeah, he's a cuddly boy. Good boy, Walter. Good job. I'm so excited for him. He's going to such a lovely family. Thank you. Bradley is so ready to start. He is excited about his first morning yes. routine today. Yes, Finn Bradley. Yes, Finn. Yes, down, Bradley. Yes, down. Touch. Yes, touch. Yes, touch. Touch. Yes, touch, Bradley. Yes, sit. Yes, down. Yes, down. Sit. Watch me. Yes, watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Yes, watch me. Yes, Bradley. Bradley's new mom is coming to visit him this coming Saturday. And so she will get to see all of this live and in person. But Bradley is staying through our puppy prep school experience. So you will also get to follow him through the point of him being very well obedience trained. And we will do all the leash work with him also so that you can see each stage and how we're doing it. And when we're watching him for cues that tell us he's ready to go to the next level. So you can see here today, he's doing a fabulous job. He's got all of our basics, including watch me down. And so now what we're going to start doing is luring him off of the places bed in the uh, beginning of come. And then, so he's learning this here. Again, this is, Hopefully you're starting to see it. This is what puppies typically do when they say, wait a minute, everything up to this point has always been on the places bed. And now what are you doing? Are you luring me off of the places bed? Yes. Yes. And so we'll have him do a sit and then we'll do this over and over. When we're first teaching a new skill, we have puppies do it at least five times. So she's grabbing his collar. She's giving him a treat at the same time. She's saying his name. She's making it a positive experience. Yes, Bradley. Bradley. Yes. Yes, sit. Yes, sit. 
Yes, sit, Bradley. Places. Places. Yes, places, Bradley. Yes. So this will anchor that command of yes places, places, yes, yes. places. And notice he's jumping up. She's not yes. letting him have any treat yes. while his Sit. feet are off of the, the ground. Yes. So there's a lot of distraction going on behind him because there are puppies playing over here. And that's what he is uh, looking at sometimes when you see him looking but yes. it's great for puppies to learn to do this even in the face of uh, distractions occasionally but when you're teaching at home make sure yes. you're teaching in a safe environment yes. so that uh, where your puppy is learning might be your your master bedroom or your uh, a quiet area in your home for your puppy to do the initial learning Yes, sit. Yes, Bradley. Yes, come. Yes, come. Yes, come, Bradley. When I am working with dogs and videoing, I'm sitting on this ball. Yes. Helps me a lot. Yes. So I sit on the ball here in front yes. of the, the yes. place is fed when I'm doing the routine all by myself. Yes. But when I'm doing the routine, I can't yes. hold the camera and do the routine. So we found it's better if uh, Devin's doing it and I'm sort of guiding. It's been so much fun. It's been so much fun for me not only watching the puppies learn, but also watching Devin learn. At this point, Devin, yes. could, Devin can train yes. any puppy. There's yes. just no doubt in my mind she's mastered it herself. All right, so we've hit his limit here, and that's what he's telling us, and that's just fine. I want you to know, you know, as you're training your own puppies at home, three minutes, four minutes is, is just fine, and then it's doing it multiple times a day to build up. So we have rituals that we do with our puppies to help them really understand the sequence and this structure, these, this structure that we create with them helps them to learn and helps them to love the learning process. So we're doing the okay. Okay means you're released and belly rubs. It's just a little feel good moment. And then um, what Devin will do is she'll, she'll take that collar off and she'll cuddle with him for a few minutes. And so again, he's super cuddly. He's easy going and uh, yeah, look at this pretty boy. Look at yes. him. Good job, yes, Great baby. job. Yes, baby. yes, spin. Yes, spin. Down. Yes, down, Emma. Yes, down. Touch. Yes, touch. Touch. Yes, touch, Emma. That is so exciting. Emma has remembered. We've been working with her on come for some time now. One of you asked me a question about how to get my dog off of the places bed and working. Well, the last couple of videos that I've shown you with Emma show you what we've done with her to get her first learning how to be on the places bed working. But then once she mastered the places bed, now we're doing come. And if you watch Emma's last several videos, you'll see the progression that we're making with teaching her come. And so this is significant progress that we have made with her that she now understands the routine on the places bed, but she also understands that the routine can happen off of the places bed. And she now knows the, the word come. So we're gonna show you exactly what this looks like. And I'm gonna show you right now step by step. So we start off by teaching places, and then we teach a, a basic sit, and then we can either take that sit into a down or a spin, And then once the dog has really mastered that and gotten very, very conf confident with that, in other words, days of this routine, then we start teaching them 
to come off of the places bed. And so you'll see, uh, we'll put her in a sit here and then Devin will call her to a come and then make her sit right in front. Yes. There you go. Now, again, yes. go back and watch the last few days of uh, our, what we've shown you with Emma, and you'll see that this is progression. And for those of you who are asking me currently, how do I get my dog to do the next stage off of the places bed, this is it. You're, you're luring them off of the places bed. You're teaching them come, and then you're getting them to sit in front of you. So that's the sequential process that you are using here as you are training your little babies in basic obedience. Yes, bases. Some of you will ask, what are we using here? We are using a cheese with her. She really loves cheese. Not all of our dogs like cheese. She, and by the way, cheese for us is not something like a processed in a in a um, plastic wrap kind of cheese. That's not what we're using. We're using a really good quality, uh, human grade. <laughs> well, I guess some of those plastic wrap cheeses are human grade too, but I wouldn't eat them. Yes. Um, this yes. happens to be a brie cheese yes. and uh, she's just getting little places. bits of it, little licks of it at a time. Yes, places. Ah! Yes, places, Emma. Spin, sit. Yes, sit. Yes, Emma. Yes, down. Yes, down. Emma, come. You can see how phenomenally yes, she's doing. We'll keep yes, this routine up with her for another three to five minutes or so. And Devin will be here multiple times today. And I will also be working with Emma today. So Emma will have a fantastic day with lots of um, stimulation going on to help her with her learning and development, and she is just thriving.